get-go, so I thought it was going to go a little slow for the first K, and if that happened, <clears throat> uh, we wanted, we thought it was best for me uh, to try and get rid of guys by going hard for, from three or four laps to go, and uh, you basically, you make it a strength race by going a little bit further out, and I thought that I was in the best 3,000 meter steeplechase in the field, so um, yeah, I just wanted to make it hard. And uh, I mean, it's it's tough. It's hard to to run over half the race from the from the lead and, and still win. So uh, I was essentially a rabbit for uh, Concessus and Elbacali, and those guys. I knew that they were probably strong enough to to be there with a lap to go, but I was just hoping that. I did enough to take the kick out of their legs and still have something that lasts 200 meters um, to hold them off. So, uh, was it didn't quite have it that last lap. Uh, I was, I think I was still pretty close to, to first. So, a little disappointed that I didn't come away with the win. Uh, I'm happy that I stayed in the top three and got on the podium. A little disappointing or? I mean, it's not a whole. I still got a medal, so I'm happy about that. I'm just a little disappointed. Um, I thought with Conceslis picking up a little bit of an injury this summer, uh, kind of opened the door for me to have a, a pretty good chance of winning. So uh, started to let that sink into the back of my head and started hoping for that and. Um, kind of made that my goal, so yeah, I'm, I'm a little disappointed that I didn't achieve my, my highest goal, but um, still well, happy. Are you surprised that Consensus had that much snap in his legs on that back stretch? No, I mean, Consensus is, he's so good, he's so good. Uh, I, I think if it's not a full, hard 3,000 meters, he's he's going to be in it. Uh, he's such a good competitor, and he's he's got such a good past 50 meters and such a good burst of speed that, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, def I wasn't surprised that he had that. Um, I, I actually feel like I did a pretty good job of running the sting out of his legs because he made the move to go past me and it, and it seemed like he had a lot left, but, uh, I mean, he still didn't get me that much. I, I was still right behind him with 200 to go, so I, like, got another little boost of energy thinking, oh, like, sorry right here, he's he's not feeling that good. Um, just had, a, I was just pretty tired going to that water jump and lost a little bit of momentum. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's, he's so good. And even being 90, 95%, I knew he was going to be tough to beat. Uh, so, which is why he's so dangerous. Uh, he's he's going to be a great championship runner for a long time. He could be another another chem boy, which will be really frustrating if, if that's the case. But, um, uh, but yeah, he, he's good, and um, I was happy I was able to try to give him my best to uh, uh, kind of knock him off uh, on the top of the podium. On reflection, was that, on reflection, was a good strategy to you know, go with a slower pace, I yeah, for sure. I mean, I think if you let it go slow the whole way, that leaves Ken Boy in the race for sure. It leaves McKissy in the race for sure. It leaves a lot of guys in the race. So um, I'm, I'm definitely I'm happy with how I ran the race. I just wish I could have stuck it out for gold. You seemed to notice that someone was coming up behind you down the stretch. <laughs> yeah. did, you, did, you, was it, did you see it on the screen or did you hear the crowd? How did you know that he was charging? Uh, I, think I, I, I think I looked up at the screen because I saw the two guys in front of me and I was, uh, thought Ken Boy was still on us with the lap to go maybe? Or was it two laps to go? I'm not sure. He, I, knew, I knew it was two, two, to go, two laps to go. So I knew it was four of us with, with two laps to go. And yeah, I didn't think about anything until getting through that that last barrier. I got over the barrier, and I think I just peeked up at the, the big screen just to be safe. Um, and yeah, I saw. I, I had to look a couple of times because I, like I thought I saw myself and then someone behind me, but I wasn't sure if it, if I was seeing 
Kinsesslis and then me behind him. So I looked up a couple of times and I think it was McKissie. Yeah. And I looked back and I was like, oh my gosh, I hope I have enough left. And yeah, I mean, he always has a big last K, big last lap. So I was happy I was able to hold him off. How, how far back was he with the lap to go? He must have. Far back. Yeah. Yeah, that like pack that. was way back. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's good at that. So that's, that's another reason why I didn't want to let it go super slow until the last lap or two so because he's he's really dangerous in the kick so um yeah that was it was a little scary but i was glad i was able to hold him off it, it seems like a, a shoe versus africa sometimes um how what do you think it would take to break the kenyan dominance of this, um, you know, this discipline? yeah it's, it's really hard uh I don't know, maybe I'll just have to get in like 745 shape and and just run right from the get-go and just hammer. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I, 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 I don't think I can let it come to a kick, right? Because I'm pretty, uh, I know contestants can run like 48 seconds for 400 meters, so I'm not going to beat him over 400 meters, so... Uh, I don't know, we'll keep working on it and we'll figure it out, but uh, maybe it'll just take a little bit of luck. Uh, maybe it'll take someone else in my, my same situation. Maybe Bacali gets strong enough in the next couple of years where he doesn't think he can take in a really slow race and he wants he to take that. it out early and then I take it after that, but you never know. So. Um, Did it unnerve you at all that the stadium announcer referred to you? is the favorite in the race. I couldn't, hear, I couldn't hear anything, no. Um, I'm glad I didn't hear that. But, I mean, I I knew that I had the fastest time coming in, and it looked really good in Monaco, but at the same time, I know Albacalli didn't race there, McKissie didn't race there, Concessus didn't race there, and we weren't running a Diamond League race. So, uh, whether or not I was the favorite or not. I know the, the books had me as, I think, the favorite. And the betting lines were pretty good for me, so I'm sorry if anyone lost money. But, um, I mean, championship races are just, they're just so different from Diamond League races, so I knew, I, I was glad to be in that position because I, I think um, it probably worked in my favor. Maybe some guys were looking at me as a top dog and a little int intimidated, or maybe not, but um, like I, I said before, Consensus is he's just so good in championship races that I, I didn't overlook him for a second. I knew he was going to be tough in, in any, any kind of race, so um, I did know that the more slow laps we had at the beginning of the race, the harder it was going to be to beat Consensus, which is why well, I took it from just over four laps to go, so. You feel like you progressed this year? You feel like you progressed this year? I mean, that maybe wasn't your best race when you come away to bronze? Yeah, I, I think so. I think, I mean, today was a different style race than last year. Um, it's hard to put that target on your back and, and run that way uh, in the championship style race. I also think the field was stronger this year from Rio last year. Uh, you got, I mean, coming in, you have four Kenyans to the world chance. We only had three in the final, but um, Ethiopians were a lot better this year. Elbacali's a lot better this year. Uh, Matt Hughes is a lot better this year from last year. Uh, Kabeni is a lot better. Uh, so, I mean, I looked at it as a stronger field. Um, I, it's hard to tell whether I'm stronger from this year to last year. Uh, I certainly feel stronger. I, I don't know if I could have... It would have been probably just as hard to run that style of race last year. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's a tough question. What's, what's next this year and with no Worlds next year, what's the focus going to be? Um, next year I'm going to look to run some fast times, obviously. Uh, well, just I'm going to start training really hard right away and just get in a really solid base and um, just be as strong as I can and 
kind of use that strength to, to carry me over the, the whole year and try to run fast times all year. Um, and then as for the rest of the season, uh, I'm going to do Brussels. Uh, hopefully, I come, come off of this all right. I'm feeling good, healthy, and uh, I can chase a, a fast time in Brussels and possibly do a mile. And then, yeah. That'd be good. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Evan. Yeah.